Hello and good evening and thank you for watching KHOU 11 Plus. I am meteorologist Chris Ramirez with your extended forecast as we head into our weekend. We are expecting the arrival of a cold front that's going to be already moving into our area. We are already starting to see some dry air in place and so I think today was one of those days that you probably didn't need a jacket. It was a little bit warm out there and so we are expecting a nice and cool Friday and that's going to be the last of our cooler temperatures especially as we head into the weekend and so we are expecting those temps to be back into the upper 70s, low 80s and then Unfortunately, remaining warm for Christmas, even Christmas Day. Here's a live look right now looking over the Galleria. We are seeing uh, Bush Airport at 69, Brenham at 65, Tomball 67, Pearland at 72 degrees. As we uh, look across the nation, maybe you're heading out of town to go to um, those travel plans. As we head closer to the holiday, we have a huge weather system, a strong system. You have that low pressure system over the Midwest. That's causing quite a bit of storms off near portions of northern Mississippi and Alabama all the way up to Chicago. And so we are seeing a rather messy outlook out there if you are heading off towards uh, portions of the East Coast U.S. Also, we still have that atmospheric river bringing in some heavy rainfall out in the Pacific Northwest, out in D.C., Seattle, Washington, even portions of Idaho dealing with some snow showers. And so if you are traveling in the next coming days, the good news for us here in Houston and for us here in Texas is that we are expecting mostly quiet conditions. We're on the tail end of this cold front and that is going to be pushing offshore, eventually bringing us some cooler temperatures across our area for the next uh, day or so. So as we uh, fast forward into our weekend, we're going to see rather clear conditions across the south central U.S. We're going to have a high pressure system that's going to keep things mostly quiet and we are expecting that to linger into the start of our next week. So current wind speeds right now are around 13, 15 miles an hour. We're starting to see those winds uh, shifting out of the, from the east to the north out in Galveston, and that's because that front is definitely moving through there. And so as we look at our future temperatures for tonight, we're going to see those overnight lows drop into the 40s. And so it is going to be quite chilly out there if you are making your way out the door tomorrow morning. So to get those jackets right back out because we are going to need them tomorrow morning and we're going to struggle to make it out of the 60s. But uh, tomorrow night, however, Friday night, we're still going to be looking at these chilly temperatures in the picture. So if you're heading out for Friday evening, I think that's going to be the last evening that you're going to be able to sport that. So those winter attire or December, maybe ugly Christmas sweaters that you have out there because we're going to be drastically warming up into the 70s, upper 70s, low 80s by Saturday, and that's going to be the first half of our weekend. And so for your Friday forecast, getting up to 48 if you are heading out the door at 7 a.m. to noon, 61 degrees, and then mostly sunny skies expected by the 4 p.m. hour. Uh, but uh, we are expecting uh, the arrival of this high pressure system that's going to keep things mostly quiet for us. We're also going to be on the outer edge that there is a chance for maybe uh, this little minor disturbance that could bring a few showers to the coast for Sunday and into Monday. But I think for the most part, this increasing moisture is really just going to to keep us warm and not really expecting anything in terms of the rainfall as well. This is an outlook from the Climate Prediction Center. This is uh, the outlook that's expected from December 26th to January 1st. That is really just expecting, uh, showing that we really could see this warming trend last until 2026. So definitely expecting uh, that warming trend to take place at least uh, starting this weekend. But one more day of cooler temperatures and then getting up to the upper 70s, likely to hit 80 degrees, especially for Christmas Day. So for your Christmas forecast, officially here across Houston, 80 degrees for our high. I think some of us might actually get up to 81, but southeast winds at 5 to 15 miles an hour with no rain chances. But uh, I think it's still going to be comfortable, but just not cold and not feeling seasonal out there, especially as we go into Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. So as we look at the Houston Christmas history, we saw it back in 2015 when we got up to 83 degrees. 1964 was 82. 2016 and 2021, we got up to 80. We might end up tying that high at 80 degrees for 2016 and 2021. And so uh, even uh, back in the 1940s and 50s, got up to 79 and 78. And so definitely expecting uh, this warming trend to take place at least through the next uh, seven days after tomorrow, though. But uh, rainfall outlook. We're also looking at drier than normal conditions, and so we haven't really received much rain in the past uh, couple of weeks. We did receive some in the early, at the end of November, early December, that really did play a role in improving our drought conditions. However, uh, with the latest drought index, we really are starting to see those moderate drought conditions creep right back in, especially for portions of Harris County, even Galveston and Brazoria counties. Areas off to the west towards San Antonio seeing uh, severe drought, especially just north of Columbus. 
And so that really is going to show that we could start seeing these drought conditions spread across our area as we go into the start of 2026. So as far as your seven day forecast, those high temps topping out in the upper 60s for tomorrow, we will rebound back into the upper 70s for this weekend. The first day of winter will be on Sunday. That is going to be officially the shortest day of the year here in the Northern Hemisphere. And uh, we are going to be bringing it in pretty warm out there and we're not expecting much of a cool down, especially as we go into Monday and Tuesday of next week. And of course, Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, Santa's going to be a little warm here across uh, the Houston area as he delivers those presents out there for all the children for Christmas uh, Eve and Christmas Day there. But looking at the current conditions right now, we are seeing mostly quiet conditions here across uh, Texas as well as across the Houston area. But uh, if you are heading out to the east of us, maybe if you're catching a flight, especially out near St. Louis, maybe Memphis, I think those storms are actually out of that area, but it's uh, folks that are going towards Cleveland, Cincinnati. You see that line of storms that is making its way into the uh, into the Ohio River Valley. That is really a, a line of storms that are severe moving closer towards uh, West Virginia and even portions of the East Coast U.S. So D.C. and New York City are starting to get a few of these showers from this system that is uh, centered across the Midwest. And so New York City is dry right now, but DC is about to start getting, or they're on the outer edge of those showers. And you're able to see where this uh, low pressure system is. It really is right where you see the, the, the circular motion here across. So Wisconsin and portions of Michigan, that little circular motion is really the surge of cooler air moving in behind it. And that is really, uh, causing all those storms to remain north of us, but we are on the tail end of it. And that's the, the same system that's bringing us our cold front right now as it's now moving through the Galveston area. But the good news for us is that we're not looking at any wet roadways or any rainy conditions. You're able to see a few of those isolated showers up near Lake Charles, but mostly dry here across the Houston area. We're just looking at those messy conditions out east and that's quickly moving off the east coast. And that's really only going to impact travel maybe for tonight in the first half of tomorrow. And then we are expecting mostly uh, quieter conditions, especially as we progress rest through the into the weekend. So that's not a big travel period. So if you're heading out uh, towards New York City for Friday, that's going to get up to 59 degrees. Breezy conditions out in Chicago, the windy city uh, with temperatures in the 20s out there. Uh, but going into Saturday and Sunday, it's looking more likely that we're going to see more quieter and calm conditions. The only thing that we're going to have to really keep an eye on is uh, the warming temperatures as well as the possible showers for Sunday and Monday. But I don't think there's going to be too much air travel concerns that are weather related for the weekend after today and tomorrow. Maybe for Saturday, Sunday, we're going to be mostly in the clear for us here across the nation. But current wind speeds right now, starting to see those winds uh, shift into the out of the east, out in the Galveston area. Uh, but just keep in mind that front moving on through, it's going to bring drier conditions. And when we have dry air in place, it's called radiational cooling. That really is going to really cause those temps to drop into the 40s for Friday morning. And so struggling to make it out of the 60s. But if you are heading out for Friday evening, I think that's going to be the last time that you're going to be seeing these chilly temperatures because we're going to be dropping to the 40s. But then Saturday is when we will see the quick warm up with temperatures in the upper 70s, low 80s across the area. So Friday is going to be our last cold front or last chilly day. But going into this weekend, we are expecting it to be warmer than normal as we head into the new year. And that very well could hint that we could see a rather warm January 1st or a warm New Year's Eve and New Year's Day across the area. I mean, New Year's Eve, usually you dance a lot, right? So I think it shouldn't be too warm or too cool out there. We're expecting those conditions to remain mostly just warm for the next 10 days after tomorrow with upper 70s and lower 80s, especially for Christmas. This is your forecast for Houston, 80 degrees for Christmas Day, looking dry, near record warmth, and we could be tying one of the warmest Christmases that we've seen here across the Houston area, especially as we go into the end of next week. Might end up tying for 2016 and 2021. Uh, Rainfall outlook also is calling for drier conditions, and so drier than normal temperatures really does not good for the increasing drought conditions. But we could we're not in really drastic measures or drastic conditions in terms of the drought. Is the we just have something, something to keep an eye on in the coming week. So a well, final look at your seven day forecast: high temps in the 60s for tomorrow. We're going to wake up rather chilly, and then we are going to be warming up into the upper 70s for Saturday and Sunday, first day of winter, mostly warm. And then as we head into next week, the good news: no rain chances, so you're not going to have 
have any wet roadways that are going to be impacting your last minute Christmas shopping plans, but we will be a bit warm, upper 70s, low 80s, especially for Wednesday, uh, for Christmas Eve, and then Thursday, Christmas Day, getting up to 80 degrees for the end of the week for next week. And that's all I have for you. That's all our extended forecast and all you need to know in terms of the weather here across the Houston area. Make sure to stay up to date with the latest weather conditions on KHOU.com and on the KHOU 11 app. And thank you for tuning in on KHOU 11 Plus. I'm meteorologist Chris Ramirez and have a good rest of your evening.